Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to be covering proper fractions and what they are. Now when it comes to proper fractions, these are fractions where the numerator, the top number, is less than the denominator. So proper fractions have a value that are less than a whole. So let's jump into a few examples here in order to better understand proper fractions. Number one, we have two-fifths. So we can clearly see that the top number, the numerator, is less than the denominator. So this is a proper fraction. Now let's model two-fifths to prove that it's less than a whole. Now to the right of this, I have a whole rectangle cut into fifths. So let's fill in two-fifths. This would be one-fifth and two-fifths. So you can see that we have less than a whole there. That fraction represents less than a whole, therefore a proper fraction. On to number two, where we have three-fourths. So again, our numerator is less than the denominator, and this represents a value less than a whole, so we have a proper fraction. So let's model this, and we have a circle here cut into fourths, so we need to fill in three of those. So one-fourth, two-fourths, and three-fourths. So you can see that we have less than a whole there. And on to number three, where we have four choices, and we need to pick out the proper fractions out of those four choices. So choice A, we have six-sixths. So the same number, same numerator as the denominator. So in this case, the numerator is not less than the denominator. So if you have the same number um, on top and bottom, same numerator and denominator, it's actually considered an improper fraction. So A would not be a proper fraction. B, we have 17 over 33. So our numerator is less than the denominator. Therefore, we have a fraction that has a value less than a whole, and it's a proper fraction. So B is a proper fraction. C, we have a numerator that's greater than the denominator. So that's what we call an improper fraction. So C would not be proper. And then finally, D, 1 over 65. So our numerator is less than the denominator, therefore we have a proper fraction, and that fraction holds a value less than a whole. So there you have it. There's a brief introduction to proper fractions. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.